Hello, it is Monday, June 19th, 2023. I'm Chris Raymond. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday puzzle today, so it should be a fairly gentle themed crossword, although it is also looks to be an unusual one because you can see in the grid, you can just make out behind the gauzy privacy veil here, we have a very narrow, a tall, narrow grid. I have no idea what that augurs for the for the theme or for the, the solve, but I'm curious to find out. In any case, this unusual and ominous edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Adam and Annette Noble, Emma Smith, Jake Rodkin, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shoalmaster, and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign. They are bringing us this series, sustaining this channel. For that, I am very appreciative. So thank you to them. Thank you to you if you're a patron. Um, thank you to everybody who has supported the channel. And if you'd like to consider doing that yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. And uh, of course, there you can find all of the bonus videos available to patrons, as well as the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug available to benefactors. Um, again, thank you to everybody who is a patron. And uh, please do consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. And finally, you can also join the Daily Self Discord chat server, a nice friendly chat community, which is linked in the description field as well. So uh, I don't have much time today, so let's get on to the solve. This is a Monday-themed crossword constructed by David Libin Noel, who's constructed, oof, I think around a dozen puzzles for the New York Times. Uh, I forget if it's one or two dozen, but in that, I think about a dozen. In any case, it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. And let's start solving and see what David Libin Noel has done with this tall grid. Prince's Irritant in a classic fairy tale. That would be a pea, the story of the princess and the pea, who, uh, what was it? It was sort of the a true princess would be able to detect the sort of, would be able to feel discomfort caused by a pea under layers and layers of mattresses. Uh, bursts as a bubble, a bubble could pop, pops. Wicked is evil. Trapeze artist is an acrobat, no, a, an aerobat, a, I'm not sure. Alternative to straight up at a bar would be over ice. You could have a drink straight up without ice. A uh, South American predator whose name translates to toothfish. It must be a piranha. That's a good, good etymology. This does look like arrow something. Trapeze artist. Why can I not think of what this word is? Sandwich top is sliced bread? I don't know. Somewhat R-rated. Maybe the film's a bit racy. There's a bit, a bit of sort of, uh, a, a bit of sort of adult material, but not not enormously so, so it's only a bit racy. Closet items like sheets and towels are linens. And eight in Spanish is ocho. An ocean voyager is a sea liner, maybe? You could take a voyage on a sea liner. I'm not sure if that's right, but let's look at the crosses. Uh, Los Angeles, of course, is the city, so that works. Oh yeah, slice, okay, see. Slice of bread, sandwich top, right, okay. Why didn't I think of that after <laughs> sliced bread didn't work? Okay. And that presumably, oh, may, oh, maybe we'll be building a sandwich. Uh, yes, I bet we'll be building a tall sandwich in this grid. Is this also going to be a slice of bread? Sandwich bottom, is it also a slice of bread? I bet it is. Let's look at the crosses. Decorative pillow color uh, cover, a slip, a pillow sort of slip case. What do you call that? A slip? Yeah, something like that. Volcano output could be lava. Big name in golf shirts. Izod, I think is a, they make kind of polo shirt style, you know, golf shirts. Um, on the house, if something's on the house, it's complimentary, it's free. Taj Mahal City is Agra. Uh, artificially colored is dyed. So set of books like Eli Wiesel's Night, Dawn, and Day. A trilogy. There we go. And the, uh, the essentially the answer is given in the, in the description of, in the clue itself, because we're given three books in a set. All right, Jimi Hendrix, oh, Purple Haze. So not Purple Lazy, which is what this looks like. So maybe this isn't, maybe I had the wrong, I clearly had the wrong word with decorative pillow. Oh, a sham. Yes, yes, I have heard that as well. It's not, I don't often refer to pillow shams, but I am aware of that phrase. London-based cosmetics company. I suppose Avon must be based here in London. I did not know that. Part of an act would be a scene. You could have several scenes in an act of a play, for instance. 
And if you created something, you made it. So there we have that. Bucks and bulls, e.g. Are he's maybe? Male animals? I wonder if that's what that's suggesting. Let's look at the this cross. Lakeside lodgings are cabins. You can have a cabin on the lake, I suppose. Is there something specific about the lakeside that leads to cabins? I don't know. Anyway, penguin look alike. What looks like a penguin? I'm not sure. www addresses are URLs, uniform resource locators, so links to websites. Uh, formally rep rather addresses of websites. Formally rep reprimanded. Oh, sorry, formally reprimand in the present tense is to censure somebody to formally reprimand them. And a penguin look like, oh, an auk, right, yes, okay. I can picture those birds, and they do sort of look like penguins. So whiff three times in the batter's box is to strike out in baseball. And then we have a clue that was filled in here from crosses. Small amount is a tad. There we have it. One of 100 in D.C. would be sen, one senator out of 100 senators in uh, Washington, D.C., the capital of the U.S., where the legislature is located. I can't blank that. Lament after encountering a, dis a disturbing image. I can't unsee that, you might you might wail in protest. Blueprint detail in brief would be a spec, a specification. You could have a whole blueprint full of them. And the very best is top notch. It's absolutely great. Shelf mate of Aleve and Advil. So those are pain medications. So Tylenol is another, is another pain medication brand pain relief, I should say, chooses to, opts to, and casual greetings are, uh, oh, haze, right, okay, <laughs> don't know why that was difficult, I was thinking of Haya for some reason, my brain did this strange thing where it was looking for a four-letter base word and then thinking, ah, but then I have to put S on the end of it, which makes no sense, I need a three-letter base word so I can put S on the end. Uh, north by Northwest's opposite. These are always fun clues because you get them. The answer is sort of defines itself. So the opposite of South by Southwest, sorry, North by Northwest is South by Southeast. And if you're strong and healthy, you're hail. One of those words that's almost always included with another word, like hail and hearty in this case. Um, although I guess I have seen hail used on it on its own, but it, it seems to be predominantly used in that context these days. Huh, didn't see you there. Oh, hi, you might say. Savory sandwich ingredient. Here we go. Peanut butter. So is it a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Maybe fruity sandwich ingredient. Yes. Uh, it'll be some sort of jam or jelly at the end. I don't know that there's any way to know. Is, is there a particular kind that I, I, I've i never, like, I've to be honest, I've never been able to stand peanut butter sandwiches, so I actually don't know if there's a particular kind of jam or jelly that is typical to them. Okay, uh, alternative to broadcast TV would be cable television. Humiliated is a based, maybe? And blank down menu on a website, you can have a drop down menu of options, or I guess in, not just on a website and any software. Readouts of brainwaves in brief could be EEGs, I think. And then here we have Xfinity or Verizon Fios in brief. Those are, I suppose, internet service providers, ISPs. But of course, because we're only referring to Xfinity or Verizon Fios, we're only listing one of them. So it's not a plural answer. Therefore is ergo. And uh, to dream, you know, the, put that at the end of, a, of something you've demonstrated to be true. Uh, if you drink enough water, you hydrate. What I'm having to do recently. It has been so hot here recently. Racing organization for Dale Earnhardt is NASCAR. And Abu Dhabi, of course, we fill out the place name. Helps with a heist, say, a bet. So if you aid somebody in a criminal manner, you have abetted them in a heist, for example. Garment with two cups would be a bra, of course. And on my own singer in Les Miserables. I'm saying a thing that I apparently say all the time because somebody quoted me as saying it in reference to basically everything, but I've never seen nor read Les Miserables, so I don't know who this is. Uh, let's see. I've seen quite a few films, I have to say, but <laughs> apparently not the ones mentioned in the New York Times crossword. Uh, all right. Iconic hairstyle for Amy Winehouse. Oh, what did she have? 
I don't know. I mean, I can picture Amy Winehouse in my head in a general sense, but what was her iconic? Oh, beehive. Yes, she did have a she did have a beehive hairstyle, that kind of you know mid century kind of look. I do remember that actually. Now that I think about it for a second, uh, island country west of Tonga, Fiji. Oops. And added coins to as a parking meter. You fed the parking meter. You fed coins into it. Broadway's Dear Evan Hansen. Another thing I've heard of but not seen. And a store item that's only for show. Oh, demo demo unit demonstration unit. Pet for Fred, Wilma, and Pebbles, Dino the Dinosaur from the Flint, Flintstones, which I have seen some episodes of when I was much younger. So some berry jam. Blueberry jam? Is that used in one of these sandwiches, maybe? I'm trying to think if there's anything else that would work. Raspberry. Actually, that sounds more likely to me. And, uh, although that doesn't look as good against this name, Crossing and Lamus Lab, so maybe it is Blueberry. Okay, well, an ocean voyager, a seafarer. Ah, right, so not, not the, the craft necessarily, but a person voyaging on the sea, a seafarer. Gallery display could be art hanging in a gallery or being displayed. It doesn't have to be hung. Uh, hurling, curling, or baton twirling is a sport. And again, because this is an oracle, we're only referring to one of these three things, not all three together. Q-tip, e.g., is a swab, a cotton swab. That's a brand, of course, of cotton swab. If you read closely, oh no, read this is, read closely with over it is to pour over a document. Um, a Dutch oven is a heavy pot. I really like cooking with Dutch ovens, I must say. Worked at a loom is, you wove at a loom, you, um, of course, is what you use a loom for. Square footage is area of a, of a two-dimensional space. And reshape as a pipe cleaner is to bend a pipe cleaner. Oh, right, the pipe cleaner, those sort of fuzzy, meta, you know, metal kind of wires that are used to clean things, or are just sort of generally used in children's arts and crafts, I suppose. Prickly plant in a thicket could be a briar. You could have a briar patch. And an Indian garment that drapes is a sari. There we go. All right. So that was all fine. Trapeze artist. Why can I not see it? Atlas shrugged author Rand, Ayn, Ayn Rand, the... What was her philosophy? Objectivism, I think, sort of hyper capitalist, self interested sort of worldview. All right, trapeze artist, area. Uh, hmm, I don't. I'm going to feel silly when I see it. It'll be obvious in retrospect. Reset and but reset a button on a scale could be the, the tear button. So you you're evening out the the weight. So you're you're normalizing what, whatever weight is currently on the scale to zero. Up to for short is till until. Uh, French female friend is ami. So ami is French for friend. And then adding that e on the end makes it the feminine form of the word. For a female friend. Immersive cinema format is IMAX. That's large format film. Okay, so this was Raspberry Jam after all. Uh, Eponine, I guess, is the singer in Les Miserables. Uh, get by coercion is to extort. You could extort something from somebody to get it by coercion. And then, oh, an aerialist. Okay. It wasn't as blindingly obvious as I thought. I don't know that I've heard that very often, aerialist, but it's a, you know, it's perfectly logical. And there we go. That was the Monday crossword. And so it was a very simple Monday grid, but we did build our sandwich. I assumed because this was so tall, it was going to be one of those sort of club sandwiches with many, many layers in it. You know, the sort that sometimes even have a third slice of bread in the middle. But no, it was just a simple uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a slice of bread, raspberry jam, peanut butter, and slice of bread. I wonder, I've never thought about this until just now, but so I wonder, is there any debate among aficionados of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich as to whether the jam or the peanut butter should go on first, you know, should be spread first on the bottom uh, layer. Because certainly in, uh, uh, here in the UK, there's an incredibly, um, there's a deep divide over whether the clotted cream or the jam is spread first on a scone. And that's the kind of, you know, Devon versus Cornwall argument. So there's, there's a geographical component to that argument. Um, and there was an amazing edition of the listener crossword, which is a very difficult cro uh, cryptic crossword uh, that I remember solving last year that dealt with that, that conflict. But anyway, is there a similar thing 
with jam and peanut butter on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't know, but maybe someone will will let me know in the comments. Um, speaking of the comments, I I do need all the time I can get today, so I, I I'm not I don't have time for the uh, comments from yesterday's puzzle, but I will try and get back to that tomorrow. Um, and and that's that. That's that for today's solve. Uh, a nice simple theme in. I don't know. Is this? I think this is taller. This is taller than a typical New York Times crossword. So I wonder how it compares in total cells or total entries, maybe to a typical to a typical weekday puzzle. Does it sort of even out, or is it in total fewer fewer answers or letters? I don't know. In any case, that was that. It was a fun, unusually shaped grid from David uh, Libin uh, Noel, and certainly nothing too taxing for a Monday, which is what we like. But let me know how you fared with this one. And I will be back tomorrow, of course, for the Tuesday puzzle. Do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm-hmm.